If there were a world identical to the one in which we live, and if we could materialize everything we've imagined, what would we find there? This isn't about a parallel universe or a multiverse. Today, we're focusing on digital twins. Digital twins refer to a technology that creates a virtual replica of an object in real life. Think of it simply as a digitalized twin, synchronized with the real world in real time. Using digital twins, we can monitor real-world situations in real time and control them remotely. By simulating diverse situations that cannot be tested in the real world, we can also predict future scenarios and prevent potential problems. So how is digital twin technology currently being applied around the world? This is Virtual Singapore, featuring a panorama of Marina Bay Sands, the third most densely populated country in the world. The city-state of Singapore became the first to create a digital twin of its entire territory. Every tree, every bench on the street, it has all been replicated in virtual Singapore. It can operate everything from real-time monitoring of traffic, wind corridors and sunlight, to simulations required for precise decision-making, such as solar panel locations, direction, and energy output levels. Singapore even modeled a new town on its digital twin platform, a town called Pungol. From the planning stage, they placed buildings so that the wind flows through and sunlight is evenly distributed. Through digital twin technology, the average fishing village transformed into an eco-town with minimal energy consumption and waste disposal. Now let's look at companies using digital twins. In the United States, General Electric now uses digital twins. A typical GE jet engine includes hundreds of built-in sensors. Using the sensors, engineers can monitor the real-time status of an engine to determine whether it's faulty or needs replacement. With digital twin real-time monitoring applied broadly across engines, turbines, and other products, GE saved around $1.5 billion that could have incurred from different problems. Meanwhile, inside the Edge building in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, employees of Deloitte work and communicate efficiently through an exclusive app that finds available conference rooms, workspaces, and the locations of their colleagues. Facility staff can check and clean spaces that were used multiple times and turn off the air conditioning, heating, and lighting in unoccupied areas. Using digital twins in both work and facilities management enabled the company to increase productivity while significantly reducing energy consumption. Canada's Vancouver International Airport also merits attention. Widely known for its large volume of passengers, Vancouver International Airport became the first in the world to launch digital twins of its entire terminal and runway. By monitoring the movements of passengers, aircraft, and cargo, obstructing vehicles can be diverted and extra staff can be deployed to areas in need of their services, enabling more efficient operation of the airport. Digital twins minimize the effects of failure in the real world and help us build a successful future. We may someday enter an era in which all problems can be resolved through digital twin technology. When that future arrives, what problems would you like to solve? <laughs>